passenger side, if I press the unlock button, it goes to move, but it doesn't quite come all the way out. Like that. There we go, one actuator on the passenger side. A little bit more tricky because you've got this one extra connection at the back there, but if you, once you've undone it all, if you can move it away from you, get yourself enough slack so that when you turn it in the little slot here, there's enough distance that you can turn it here and then it will pop off. Um, a little bit tricky, but you know, you can do it. You don't have to take 
the outside door lock. Don't bother with that. And you don't have to take this off. So if I can do it, you can do it. So here's my new one. And this extra cable here is your manual key release if you're wondering why the driver's side didn't have it. Right, let's get it back on, get the new one on and see how that goes. I'm gonna keep these locks that are taken off and I might just look at replacing the motors inside. It's a lot cheaper, but it means that I've got to take it all apart. These ones have got a five year warranty though, so hopefully I'll get at least five years out of it. It's quite a tricky orientation to get it back in again, but this is the way it needs to be and you need to get this top cable on first. On there. So what I've done here is I've just taken a piece of that plastic away and it allows me now to be able to push the cable on and twist it round. I was struggling a little bit so if you if you got this piece of plastic on the side, some have them, some don't, it's a good idea just to trim it. So now I can push this on in the lower position, get it all the way home, twist the cable around and on, like so. Give it a little wiggle down. There we go. Now I can rotate it around. Just moving that little bit of plastic there really does help. Right, that's the tricky one on. Let's see if I can get this plastic yellow clip back on. There you go, there's the two yellow plugs that are back on again. A little bit tricky, that first top one there. But as if you move that piece of plastic on the side, it does make a little bit of difference. And just make sure they're nice and pushed in firmly. Hard bit done, easy bit now, just put on these electrical connectors. haven't popped out at the back there. That's it. And lastly, make sure you put your little door release handle on, push it in and rotate it, that's locked, and then the white bit goes in here, that's so, that's good, make sure they're both clipped in nice. This cable goes in front of that, not behind it. Right. all the screws back on. So what I want to try now is make sure that my manual emergency key release works.
Now, if I should turn this, it should lock it. So I thought I'd show you this. I put it all back together again and it wasn't working. And what happened was, this is the inside of the door lock. You have to take this plate off and what happened inside that cable had popped off. I must have pulled it too much when I was putting the actuator on. And to get this little plate off, you have to drill out two rivets either side. So I've done that now. I'm just gonna put it back together again. And instead, all I'm gonna do is put a couple of bolts in there. And that way I can get into it if I ever have problems again. So inside there, there's a little Torx. If you haven't got a Torx that will get into that hole, you can use a flat-headed screwdriver. Obviously, if it's just the right size to go in the little flaps of the uh, Torx. And you're pushing it to the right. Like that. Get your little screw in there, keep your finger on it because it tends to fall in on you. There, now she's all in. Now you can get that screw in the side. And that screw in the side, what it's doing is it's picking up this little hole in the side of the lock so that this can't be pulled out. It's a little security measure. Maybe a little rubber gasket, put that on there first. Clips in there. If you look carefully, there's a couple of little pegs that it goes on. So remember, if you've got a cable for the keyless go entry, you can get that from the inside. Make sure you've got that hooked onto your actuator. Fill the spring if you've if you've got it right. Now the key goes in. Okay. Just plug in the keyless if you got it. about to throw in the towel because I just could not get this thing to work and I found that there's a manufacturing fault this plug here when I looked at the one I took off the grip where it tabs on the bottom there is sitting on the bottom this one was on the top so this plug was upside down it was like that and no matter what I did I just couldn't get it to work Anyway, it seems to be behaving itself now, so what I have to do is get a file, file that down, and now put the plug in the correct way, which is like that, and it seems to be working. I'm tempted to go back to the supplier and say, what the hell are you playing at, but what are you going to do? I think it's working, I'm happy with that. I've also snapped one of the little tabs here, so I put a little cable tie through there just to keep that nice and secure. It's because I've been mucking about with it for so much. At least you get there. Finally. And the mirror's fold. Unbelievable. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.